Now, the difference between the gospel that we read today and the gospel that we read on Christmas Day is the last four verses. And it talks about in the Word was grace. Grace upon grace. In studying for this, I realized, I learned that the word grace, I believe, appears either three or four times in these verses. And appears nowhere else in John's Gospel. That's kind of a significance to me that this is a very important thing that sets up that the Word in Christ, that God's incarnate self given to us, is this gift that is offered to us and we are invited to take it on. There's a verse in the Gospel that says, John was not the Word, he was not the light, but he came to bear witness to the light. I think that's instructive for all of us. Just as by grace we've become connected and become aware of the light, the light's not us, but we're asked to be witnesses. We're asked to bear that light out into the world. And that gets us back to what the work of Christmas is. The work of Christmas first starts with us understanding how we are invited by God's grace to be full partners with God and to be witnesses of that light. And the second part is how we might take that out into the world. And this is where Thurman's poem continues. The work of Christmas is begun to find the lost and lonely one, to heal the broken soul with love, to feed the hungry children with warmth and good food, to feel the earth below, the sky above, to free the prisoner from all chains, to make the powerful care. Build the nations with strength of goodwill. To see all God's children everywhere. To bring hope to every task you do. Dance at a baby's new birth. To make music in an old person's heart. And to sing to all the colors of the earth. How we embrace that grace of God how we witness to that light in both praise and service is the work of Christmas. Every Sunday, we have a little tiny witness, those baskets that continue to be filled and continue to be brought forward and then shared out is a sign of our bearing that light out into the world. Our church has for a long time had a relationship with Well in the Desert. Almost all the food cooked and served to people is cooked here. We've had a relationship with services and overnight shelter, where through a significant part of the year on Friday night, we are home to guests for dinner, and they stay the night and, are, and leave early the next morning. We are going to enter a new phase where we take on a new relationship where we assist one day a week in helping the well in the desert to feed the people who are in need. That's one way in which we are attempting to begin and to do the work of Christmas. Every single one of us has something that God is asking us to do. To reach out and care for someone. To write a letter about something that you think is important and you think really speaks to the needs of people who are without. Whatever it might be, think about how you might be as a witness to that light of Christ. And then we can spend this 12 days of Christmas, when everybody else has forgotten that Christmas is still going on, when they've turned out all the lights, when all the music is done, we're still getting started. We're still celebrating. We're still praising God for the amazing gift and grace, the grace upon grace that we have received in Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.